case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court of South Carolina reviewed a case in which Evelyn Connor, a police dispatcher, was fired for violating multiple policies. Connor claimed that the employee handbooks she received altered her at-will status, creating a contract and making her termination wrongful. The Court of Appeals had earlier reversed a trial court decision, stating that employee handbooks could indeed change an at-will employee's status if they contained disclaimers and mandatory promises. The city argued that its termination of Connor was justified and that the grievances she raised were rejected by the city council. However, the Supreme Court affirmed the Court of Appeals' reversal of summary judgment on all city-related claims. The court also advised caution in invoking summary judgment to prevent an unfair denial of trial and recommended focusing on the employer's determination of cause rather than employee conduct. The court advised caution in invoking summary judgment to prevent an unfair denial of trial and recommended focusing on the employer's determination of cause rather than employee conduct. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.